I got sneak commentator. Okay, so we're starting off with DJP and Vice. Uh, DJP I'm less familiar with. Vice, I've played a couple of sets against here and at Encore. Mm -hmm. Snake, he whipped out the Joker against me last week. Uh, he's pretty solid, man. He's really, like, everyone in that DA crew is really patient and, like, analytical. <laughs> oh, man. That wasn't that patient of a play, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't see. I don't get to see Vice too often. I feel like I see him like every few months, so mm -hmm. I haven't had a real little chance to like really analyze his play. Oh my Ooh, God! And he gets only the cipher. That's some pinpoint accuracy right there. <laughs> gorgeous. All right, setting up at the ledge. Nice. I love how he's taking his sweet time getting up off the ledge. Uh oh. Yeah, that was uncheckable. Oh, Got that red man. splat. Yep. Ain't coming back from that. Banana detonates the grenade. That's not too fun. All right, even though this is going really solidly in DJP's favor, uh, Vice just like kept him on the edge from both sides of the stage, and it solidly came back. And he solidly came back into the game with it. Oop, calls out the air dodge with the banana. Flips him. Got him at ledge this time. He can't recover high. Wick down air. F smash. Even from center stage. Just going to take it. All right. This is a pretty good lead right now. Like mid percent, uh, you know, Snake's a character that needs time to set up. Yeah. So, and did he not slow, you know? So, ooh, ooh. I love that. What a call out. Going point blank on his shield, trying to call out the, the yeah. grab. Or a parry or something. But okay. yeah, this was the percent he was at last stock where it was like, oh cool, he's got a solid lead. Dies. And then just totally gone. Two edge guards dead. Some solid hey. percent. Yeah. Oh, I banana catch. I actually wanted to say that like he's been hanging on to that C4 right there. I wonder when he's gonna do it. But right at, right as I wanted to. <laughs> Kaboom, baby. Whoop. Keeps catching these grenades. All right, what's he got this time? Oh, he calls out the jump out of shield with the monkey flip. All right, it's basically even now. Woo! He's been doing really well against the ledge traps. Honestly, he's only got caught like really once. Mm -hmm. The only other time he lost a stock was uh, okay. the rando C4 call out. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Really? Ooh, excellently <laughs> aimed. Wow. Wow. All right. Even Vice is like, all right, man. <laughs> you could have that. That, that was uh, unorthodox. Okay. So DJP going to take game one. See what he gets rid of. DJP was uh, a little sloppy on the aggression, I felt like. He was going, he was going balls to the walls on, like, Hitting shield when grenades were in there, like he put mm -hmm. a full charge F smash into Snake's shield, and you heard the second hit connect on just the grenade. He just got a lot of percent taken just hitting Snake when he had grenade in. You can't be doing that when you don't have the lead, okay. and at least a stock lead. So, DJP getting rid of FD and Smashville, Stop and uh, Vice Snake. opting to go to Battlefield. I kind of, I, I get that. Hmm. I'm trying to reason that out in my head. Battlefield, like, for Snake, like, one, it has a giant ceiling. Snake's a heavy character. And, like, platforms allow him to mix up his landings. Oh, know. yeah. I was mixing up which one in my head was counterpicking. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I actually find it kind of a little bit weird that DJP actually banned FD yeah. versus Snake. I would have gone Smashville and uh, Battlefield, personally. Mm hmm. But uh, this, yeah, is a good reason why he's got a very good lead going. The edge guards are going to be a little more potent. Oh, okay. <laughs> Even hits him with the sniper. Oh man. Yeah, and right now this is working really well for Vice. 140 damage, but this is the thing. Like a, a stage like Battlefield for Diddy Kong, like 
is a pretty good stage because you know any fast character can take advantage of like yeah. all these different dimensions of movement. Platforms are good. This is a I don't know. This is a weirder stage to take advantage of stuff. Ooh. Like matchups seem less cut and dry. Yeah, There's a lot of like when you get three platforms, it's a lot of stuff in the mix. Yeah, no, it, it's like a it's a much deeper neutral, and it's like really scary to like uh, make something happen. But Vice gonna take that first stock, taking 123 damage on the way. Uh, that can either be not too much for Snake or or a lot. You know, really depends on what DJP is able to make happen. Yeah. Sooner or later. Just call out a roll on with that up smash, I think. Yeah, he sees like straps have been a little weird. Mm -hmm. He's been letting him slide through the cracks a lot. Diddy doesn't have that many options from lead, I don't think. Like monkey flip isn't really much of an option. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. Like Face he could like try and like thwart him a little bit better with uh, the Nikita and just like set up nades lying on the ledge and you're yeah. like cover rolls. Yeah, and he's been waiting at, like almost mm -hmm. every time on the ledge. Just like, yeah, I'll let you do your thing. And Vice commits to like three things. He's like, yeah, I'm covering a lot of options. It's like, yeah, you're covering more than half, but if you wait... Ooh. Ooh. At the very least, though, uh, anything just on like all the on-stage interactions, Vice has been doing a fantastic job of just like keeping control of the situation. So why not, while he might not be like ultra capitalizing on those ledges, he's just like, yeah, come back on the stage. This is actually yeah, my playground. Yeah. I guess he's, he's not... Not really tripping. Not yeah. <laughs> this is the worst character to have a deficit against in the game. Oh yeah. Particularly a more than stock deficit. Anytime you have to fight like setup characters and they have like a whole stock to set up. Yeah. Uh oh. You no, know, it's like you need something to happen. They're like, yeah, come over here, try and hit me, let's go. <laughs> yeah man, you can swing. I got these grenades. There's a D C4 somewhere. You don't know where it is. DJP is uh Really going wild with these up E's. Like I don't know how different, yeah. how like how more useful it is in uh, Ultimate compared to Smash Four. But like my lord, it's so much more useful in this game. Yeah, the, the hitbox is unfairly big. You can right. confirm the the startup hit to a finish, like the mm -hmm. explosion to it. I'm I'm now a Diddy fanatic. I hated him last game. I, I <laughs> love Diddy. He destroyed all of my characters last game, and I'm kind of chill with him. Me and, me and Diddy are on good terms now. Did you see how, like, the way he shot up? It's like the grenade interrupted his up B, so we got that, like, the weird Diddy knockback. Because he still has Oh, that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and even dash attack kills. All right. Okay, so. Game two. Vice. Let's see what he gets rid of. FD, yeah, understandable from the snake point of view. Yep. And Yoshi posed as ever in that camera. All right, I I, I get this because like it's the same. It's like a similar to Battlefield, but because it has a normal FD ceiling, you're like, uh, I don't need you to actually juggle me. Yeah. And put me literally in the ceiling. More recovery options. Yeah. Stuff like that. Okay. Oh man, DJP's thinking. It's not. He might not stick to. Did he? He is counterpicking to PS2, so maybe something else. It's a pretty neutral stage, and he's picking Banjo. Okay. All right, this is cool. I haven't thought about this character at all, so I'd love to get some analysis in my brain <laughs> of my own. I know heard exactly conjecture how you from feel. other people. I haven't even been like, huh? What are the strengths and weaknesses? Yeah. That goes right in. And it's low percent. He doesn't really. Can't really get too much at low percent of Banjo. So like one hit confirms. Combos him into his own grenade with the back throw. Aaron to shield. Okay, so oh so uh fun fact for some people who might not know, these characters are the same weight. Really? Yeah, they're both heavyweights, they're both weight, I think literally no, not one hundred. There's something. But yeah, uh, just recently, like earlier today, you know, Gimmer released that new uh, like set play root guide for uh, Banjo. When you do like a fade back uh, full hop fair on shield, you know, like, you cover some options. I'm gonna need to watch that. Yeah, yeah, that that right there, that Dr. Mario ass fair. <laughs> I love it, man. <laughs> It always still feels to me like it deserves a little more knockback or a little more something else. Yeah. 
Okay, oh, okay. I think he didn't realize that he had parried it and started just like full charge running. Oh, that was a 4 DI. Okay. Something that DJP has been loving to do is just like run into his shield or like call out that he's going to dash back and do another option. So, when he back aired Snake's shield, and I think he was able to get his block up, but he ended Twice up dropping it. <laughs> he's smiling over it, too. He... No! Getting rid of the... Getting too, getting rid, uh, too trigger happy with those Wonder Wings. Yeah. And yeah. that last one was definitely a mistake. He wanted to, like, yeah, be reverse. Yeah, reverse, yeah. All right. He dash attacked him. Good hook. Boneless DK dash attack. He's trying to play a little more patient now, but he only lasts a couple of interactions before he just does something that's a little bit half-assed. I gotta say, I do respect him for just throwing this out, especially after Diddy did the job uh, game one. Mm -hmm. You like, saw that he definitely kind of like lost some faith for game th uh, game two on Battlefield. Yeah, though. I didn't like that stage pick for him. Yeah. Alright. Well, it was stuff device.